Om Shanti, welcome back to your own channel. See the soul that truth lies within. We're going to do a recording of 23rd of April, the God Deep Blessing, which God wants us to become completely pure and He wants us to experience royalty of purity in our life. What are the benefits of that? We're going to discuss that in a bit. So, in the heading, Baba says, or Godfather says, May you become completely pure and reveal the speciality of Brahmin life with the royalty of purity. Now, what is a Brahmin life? I've made up a small 40 to 45 minutes of an audio and a video. I'll be putting it up tomorrow, that is on Sunday. And most of you can go through that video or an audio on WhatsApp, understand what exactly does a Brahmin mean. Brahmin, in simple terms, means a very pure, elevated, with a good character human being, in simple terms. So, you can see that. Let's just continue with this blessing. So, Baba says, May you be completely pure and reveal the speciality of Brahmin life with the royalty of purity. The royalty of purity is the speciality of Brahmin life. So, purity is one thing. But royalty of purity. One is you have pure thoughts towards other people. You have got pure thoughts towards the whole world. There is no discrimination on the basis of caste, creed, religion. That's what a Brahmin does. He, he has got no or she has got no discrimination. And they are always soul conscious. So they have purity. But God is saying the royalty of purity. So somebody might have that purity in their mind. And they might have ego about it. So that's not royal at all. So, royalty of purity means that you are incognito, you are somebody who doesn't blab or declare that you are pure enough or that you follow this purity. So, it is seen in your behavior, it is seen in the way you walk, you talk, you get up and everything is seen in your royal behavior. It doesn't need to be spoken about. So the royalty of purity is the speciality of Brahmin life. From the face and activity of a child of the royal family, think about any royal family. You think about the face and the activity of that child from that royal family. You can tell that he is from a royal clan. The way they move, the way they talk, the way they behave. In the same way, Brahmin life is recognized by the sparkle of purity. How pure you are in your thoughts, words and actions. It doesn't mean that you only think pure when you are amongst Brahmins and when you meet up those souls who are not into this knowledge or who don't have that much of purity, you start talking impure with them. That means you become somebody who's double-faced. God says your purity should be intact in any kind of situation, in front of any kind of person. The sparkle of purity will be visible in your activity and on your face when there is no name or trace of impurity even in your thoughts. Now that is the highest level of attainment which we all work towards. And through experiences over a period of time, we get to that stage where our experience of our own stage of mind can be felt on a daily basis on the basis of how lighter do you feel each day in your life and that decides how lighter you are in your mind in your heart and that is the beauty of this spiritual godly knowledge which God wants us to bestow upon us he wants to give us peace and he wants to give us purity that is his property so that we become peaceful and lighter in our mind and heart purity means you do not have any type of influence of vice or any impurity now vice is one impurity that means five vices so we have no influence of five vices vices from other people that somebody let's say maybe greedy when they're talking to you then it doesn't affect you that means you don't get greedy along with that person and somebody is getting angry or is discussing about something which has not been done properly you also don't add to it and get angry that means you're not getting influenced by the situation or any impurity. Any impurity could be that in a subtle way somebody might talk and laugh about and gossip about other people. 
and show somebody else's weaknesses. Somebody might think impure about your neighbor and talk to you about it. It is our duty to help them <coughs> to think pure instead of thinking impure, to change their way of thinking. That is our duty. Why? Because if your neighbor has got that impurity, then that impurity can be for you also. But if you help that soul to think in a pure manner for all the people around, you change why they should be pure. What is the difference? How peace can come if you think impure in any kind of situation, if you don't think impure? Then you are helping that soul to become pure. So we should not have any kind of impurity in us. Forget about just the vices. Then Baba says, then you can be said to be completely pure. That means we don't get affected. We have to reach a stage that we become like a kid. We don't even have the knowledge of what a vice means. We have to reach that level. So how do you do that is what we learn in Brahma Kumaris. It's a step-by-step -step process. You two can go and learn about it for free with this Om Shanti.